Have a round of applause for Megan. Yeah. Have a round of applause for all the other comics you saw up here tonight. And uh, judging by a round of applause, who here hates clapping? I'm a college student. Last semester, one of my teachers assigned a 1,000 word essay, so I turned in a picture. <laughs> I think a good way to reduce the crime rate would be to stop building houses on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> that seems to be where all the criminals are growing up these days. They say home is where the heart is. If that's true, then there are a lot of heartless people in the city of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, one of them came up to me. He's like, hey man, can I get some change? I was like, uh, I've got four quarters if you've got a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, a friend of mine came up to me and said, you know, John, you really ought to work on getting in touch with your inner child. I was like, easy for you to say, you're pregnant. <laughs> My parents always taught me that I couldn't have kids until after I got married. They were wrong. <laughs> I think we should start building tables out of the material they used to make coasters. And we don't need to buy any more coasters. Well, the coaster industry probably doesn't want you to hear that joke. <laughs> and I don't really care. Sometimes it feels good to be a little edgy. <laughs> Any pills or sleeping pills if you take enough of them? <laughs> Some are just a little more permanent than others. <laughs> About a year ago, I got a new job. And uh, when I got hired, the guy who hired me was like, you should get really comfortable around all these people because they're going to be your new family. And I was like, oh great, now I've got a new group of people to disappoint. <laughs> then they ended up disappointing me because I was the only one who showed up for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I used to work at Walgreens. And, uh, when I did, I didn't really like to tell that to girls when we first met. <laughs> Then I don't know if they like me for me or if they're just in it for the money. <laughs> this one time a guy came in the store, he's like, hey man, can you point me to the station area? I was just like, uh. None of them are moving. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> that guy must have been wasted. <laughs> A friend of mine told me you should dress for the job you want and not the job you have. But Walgreens didn't really like it when I showed up dressed as an astronaut. <laughs> they liked it even less when I showed up dressed as a CVS employee. <laughs> they say a woman's work is never done. Sounds to me like women are lazy. Happens <laughs> <laughs> for the ladies. <laughs> every party is a bachelor party when you're single. <laughs> but not every female cop is a stripper. <laughs> if you look really closely at a light switch, See that in tiny letters, it has the words on and off. I don't think that has ever come in handy. <laughs> so you never walk into a room and you're like, hey man, are the lights on? <laughs> I don't know, let me check the switch. <laughs> I can't read it, it's too dark in here. <laughs> I would 
would shoplift for a Klondike bar. <laughs> I don't like to floss. I think flossing is gross. The only thing flossing has taught me is don't floss. If there's food in between your teeth, it's supposed to be there. It's the only thing holding the blood in. <laughs> I say the more alcohol you consume, the more it increases your tolerance. I don't think that's true. Because a friend of mine is an alcoholic, and he still hates the gays. <laughs> I recently realized that the more I drink, the more I start to act British. And by that I mean I start to drive on the left side of the road. <laughs> right, there's a group out there called Mothers Against Drunk Driving, or MAD. I guess there used to be a group called Fathers Against Drunk Driving, but it was only popular for a little while. <laughs>